David Suzuki is back at it again, slandering and smearing Canadian industry. This time, it's Canadian mining companies. If you recall, it was about a year ago that the great Suzuki likened the Canadian oil and gas industry to plantation slavery and all the thousands of hardworking Canadian men and women who are concerned about the future prospects of their careers to slave owners. Here, take a listen. It sounds very much to me like the southern states argued in the 19th century that to, to eliminate slavery would destroy their economy. It did. It transformed their economy, but they took a big hit. But who would say today that the economy should have come before slavery? I mean, and the but, but you're, is, equa is you're equating madness. the oil industry to slavery there, and they might take real offense to that. What a bizarre, out of touch thing to say. And today, more of the same in a rabble.ca piece in which Suzuki calls the Canadian mining industry and our mining companies, quote, disgusting. Let me read from a longer quote so you get the full context here. Quote, I mean, the consequences of our thoughtless extraction is that a lot of this stuff is non-renewable when it should be renewable, like our forests and our fish. But we're getting into more destructive extraction, which is mining. And it's not just here in Canada. The worst mining in the world are Canadian companies. They're going all over the damn place. It's disgusting. Disgusting? Do you think David would have the guts to stand out here and say that in front of the head office of Gold Corp, one of our largest mining companies? Or do you suspect, as I know, that Suzuki is only comfortable popping off like this when he's surrounded by friends at the CBC or Rabble, where he can get away with smearing Western Canadian industries and where journalists just smile and nod? We all know how Suzuki can't stand being challenged with skeptical questions. Remember this? Can I talk to you for a minute, David? Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I talk to you later? I thought you had this uh, event right now. I thought you had an event here right now. Are you running away from me? I did. No, no. I'm preparing my notes for the event. Do you have a minute to talk? You were talking with them. Is How come you don't want to talk with me? Is it because I ask skeptical because questions? You start and you don't tell the truth. Well, tell me the truth. What's the truth? I'll tell you what is disgusting. This man and his arrogant, holier-than-thou attitude towards hard-working Canadians making a living in the resource sector. His constant hyperbole that demonizes Canadian companies, despite our world-class environmental standards. And his blatant hypocrisy when he tells Canadians that we need to all live with less while he jets around the world and to his four different houses. I'm just about done with Suzuki. But what actually frustrates me as much or even more is when industry refuses to push back. I reached out to the Mining Association of BC and major mining companies right here in Vancouver to get their reaction, but they haven't responded. I'll let you know if they do, but I'm not holding my breath. We see the same thing with the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers, an advocacy group that's supposed to stick up for the industry, and yet they stay silent in the face of environmentalist smear jobs. These industries and companies need to look to Resolute Forest products for inspiration. They've fought back hard against Greenpeace and are currently suing them over statements and a campaign the company calls, quote, malicious, false, misleading, and without any reasonable factual basis in numerous respects. Or more locally, look at how Marine Harvest Canada is suing Alexandra Morton after her illegal trespassing of their facility this summer. I'm not trying to take credit, but when the company asked me what I thought they should do, I told them don't back down, fight and push back against these people. I'm glad they did, and I hope our mining industry looks to Marine Harvest and Resolute Forest products for inspiration, and I hope they look at the oil and gas industry and the way they've capitulated over the years and how it's only enabled more activism. For the rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Thanks so much for watching. You know, we always talk about the importance of the oil and gas industry, especially out here in Western Canada, but it's under attack right now. So go to stopthecarbontax.com and tell Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party that this job-killing tax won't fly.